Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is qualifying for race number 7 in the 2020 NOFSRL Haas IndyCar Series. Of course, tonight's a big night over in the Chick-fil-A Cup Series with the first race of the Chase in the Cracker Barrel 400. But these guys have the Saturday day cap of the NOFSRL on Napa Fan, and they'll be racing tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time here from Road America in Chevy, Indy, Wisconsin. Of course, this weekend, real-life IndyCar coming here for two races. We got one race here, 11 laps here for the Chevy, Indy, Wisconsin event at Road America. We've been coming here since 2016, I do believe. So it's been on the schedule for quite some time, Road America in the Haas IndyCar Series. And we're going to have another great one tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern. Join alongside Cameron Garlington for this one. And, of course, Cameron, you have been in this series before. You actually won the championship in the Haas IndyCar Series back in 2016. So you have driven an IndyCar here before at Road America. How crazy do you think this race is going to get? It's a very long and winding road course, high speeds, and a lot of places to make mistakes. Do you think we're going to have a race of attrition tomorrow, or do you think it might be a pretty calm one for Chevy Indy, Wisconsin? You know... I, I genuinely think that some guys are going to try to be conservative and, and keep it on the track, but really, some of those more aggressive guys, yeah, they might come off the track once in a while, but those guys are going to be the ones that get it done. You just got to be aggressive, take what positions you can, and uh, especially early on when you're close to everyone, because uh, the later this race gets, it's going to be a lot harder. Uh, it doesn't matter how fast you drive. You just got just to get it done early, really. We'll have to see how it all goes down tomorrow for 11 laps of action where you start's gonna mean quite a bit we'll have about one pit stop midway through the race so a lot of factors in tomorrow's race and of course it is a road course so no cautions uh, regardless of what happens on the racetrack so we will not have the same issue that we had last week with the America 100 would like to apologize for that race again I did not want to redo that because I didn't want to take up more of Micah's time of course he is really busy um, and uh, at the same time, it's not like Auto Club's a track where that happens very often. Uh, so, kind of look at it as more of a natural occurrence, unfortunately. But Cover definitely liked it. Of course, he moved up, as Cameron mentioned to me, 16 positions up in the points, I do believe, after that race victory. Yes. Yeah, yes, so he, uh, he really uh, boosted his uh, championship hopes as a rookie driver as well. Winning a big race like that, that's what Christopher Alfby did last year. And uh, Buck Hover won it in quite an odd fashion, but that's the second win for the Hamill Autosport team. The last time we were at a road course, his teammate, number 39 of Tristan Allen, went to victory lane. We'll have to see if Tristan Allen can get another race victory on the road course here in the Haas IndyCar Series. Had a very solid season there for Hamill Autosport in number 39. Uh, definitely much better than his Chick-fil-A Cup Series career, I'll tell you that much. But hey, maybe this is where he's supposed to be. And uh, he might get another good run here in Road America. First driver who will officially complete a lap will be Thomas Lipscomb in the number seven. Is the first driver out there for Schmidt Peterson. And of course, we all know what happened with Lipscomb in the Indianapolis 250. Ran out of gas near the end of the race and could not hold on for the race win ahead of Nicholas Samadio. Did such an excellent job in that event, but since that Indy 250 at the beginning of the season, we really haven't seen much of Lipscomb. We'll have to see what he can do here in qualifying for Chevy Indy, Wisconsin. Yeah, and Lipscomb, it, really just unfortunate what's, uh, what's happened here. Definitely it could use a, a good turnaround race, but uh, no, I think I think this would be a good race to do it. It is a long course. It is going to be a little bit difficult to get around at times, but no, if you can start up front, gain some positions, uh, you should be pretty good. A 1 5 5 2 6 1 there for Thomas Lipscomb in his first flying lap here at Road America. Number eight machine of uh, Mitchell Collins goes to the top of the board. Great run there for Collins, who was in last night's Turkey Hill Series race at Nashville. A lot of these guys are going to be heading back to Nashville tonight to race in that Cracker Barrel 400. First race of the chase. Definitely looking forward to that one. But like I said, the main event, well, maybe not the main event, but uh, the last event of the weekend here, IndyCar from Road America. Number 27, Aldra Baranowskis going to the top of the board. Great run for Baranowskis, and I... I want to say she's won here before. I don't think I don't think it's the case. The Napa car, though, has won here before when John Andrews drove it in 2018. And speaking of John Andrews, see where he is on the racetrack. Like I mentioned, he has won this race before. 
I don't know if he's out there on the race track. There he is, the number 10 machine. Currently ninth quickest. Nathan Stapleton just went to the top of the board in the 34, and let me tell you, Stapleton has had a couple of rough runs here in the Haas IndyCar series. Almost one lime rock was, you know, on cruise control in that race until he overshot the first corner, and that gave us the huge battle between Marty Johnson and Chase Harris. Nathan Stapleton also wrecked out at Texas. It's been a rough couple of races for Nathan Stapleton here in the Haas IndyCar Series, but he'd love to get an IndyCar Series race victory. He has won before in the IndyCar Series, I do believe, uh, back at Sonoma early on in 2016. Either 2016 or 2015. Somewhere around there he's, he's won a race before, but it's been a long time since Stapleton's last won. Uh, we'll have to see if he can get that what is now outside pole to... Uh, Possible race victory tomorrow here at Road America. Cole Speed just went to the top of the board there. Number four machine looking pretty speedy here at Road America for AJ Foyt Enterprises. Just barely took it. Wow, what a... <laughs> mm. Whoa, off the track he goes. What in... Wow, yeah, he was not what he wants to do. Wow. Pressuring it just a little bit too much there in the turn number three. Very was unique. Unexpected. Incident right there for the number four of Cole Speed, but he still has the fastest time by one one thousandth of a second ahead of Nathan Stapleton, so he barely beat off Stapleton. I would almost watch out for Stapleton here on this lap, see if he can improve his time there on the number four of Cole Speed. But he did get a little wide there off the corner with Max Anderson ahead of him. Audrey Baranaskis went to third, and Davey Johnson! I haven't seen much of Davey this season. Most experienced full-time driver in the field has practically been non-existent up to this point, but he just went to the top position here in Road America qualifying for Ed Carpenter Racing. Yeah, great job there again. Um, back with Cole Speed, you know, we've been talking about how a or treacherous of a track this is. That's just a case right there. You could be on top uh, in the entire field and then just kind of lose it in one turn and... There goes your day, but uh, no, luckily... Clifton just went to the top of the board, and John Andrews is off in the carousel, and that's another one of those spots we were talking about. You get off in there, it's really hard to control your car, and Andrews is going to have some wing damage after he hit the wall there. But Noah Clifton won here in 2016, and back when we ran here in 2016, we had two races. Of course, that's what real-life IndyCar is doing this weekend, of course, because of the pandemic, but we did it all the way back four years ago, and this guy won one of those races, almost won both of them at Road America that year. But uh, he knows how to get it on here at Road America. I believe it's his only IndyCar Series win four years ago at this very racetrack. But he is on the verge of starting on the pole position here in 2020 in the Haas IndyCar Series. We'll have to see if he can do so there for Carlin Racing. And oh, brother, I tell you what. You can't keep him off the top position now, can you? Chase Harris up to third in the number 79. That is not what these competitors want to see. Of course, last weekend we were at Auto Club. It was pretty much a, a crapshoot the whole way through. Here, you start good, you're most likely going to finish good, and third position is a great place to start here at Road America. It's Noah Clifton, Davey Johnson, Chase Harris, Cole Speed, and Nathan Staple in the top five so far here in qualifying for the Chevy Indy Wisconsin. Man, I've, I've heard stories about this Chase Harris kid. Man, let me tell you, watching him in person is something different. Definitely a dominant, dominant force on that track. Really got to watch out for him. You definitely do. A three-time winner this season. Of course, he really came into the spotlight when he made a last lap pass at Lime Rock. Quite possibly the most difficult place to make a pass on the circuit. And he did it over Marty Johnson, his teammate, as a rookie. Next week, ended up going to win at Texas. His fuel became an issue at the end of that race. I just realized... Three of the four oval races we've had this season, fuel has become a factor at the end of the race. Oval races have not been the best in the Haas IndyCar Series this year, and I apologize for that. It's uh, been a little bit goofy, and Chase Harris just went to second. Clifton still has the pole, but Chase Harris looking to start on the outside pole here at Road America. And right near the end of the session as well, taking that fast time away from Davey Johnson. But like I mentioned, one at Texas, then he... Went on the win, Richmond as well. All three of those race victories on last lap passes. This guy is insane. But he only has about a 37 roughly point lead, I do believe. 
Yes. So, we would think he'd be farther ahead in the points with all those race victories. Well, Riverside, a few weeks ago, finished dead last. I don't know if that's going to be the case here for him today, or should I say tomorrow when we get to the race in. Francois Chastain, haven't seen much of him this season. He just went to third. Davey Johnson is now fourth. Cole Speed, Nathan Stapleton, Dale Lightning, Max Anderson, Audra Baranowskis, and Garrett Sinor. Sinor's won a Turkey Hill Series race here before at Road America. Definitely you know, going to be just... interesting to see what Chase Harris does tomorrow, though. From the points lead on the outside, pulls something for this race. He's going to be a force to reckon with in tomorrow's 11-lap race. Oh, definitely, and uh, as this uh, qualifying session uh, winds down, I'm going to be, you know, I'm a little curious to see who's going to try to maybe overdrive a little bit to get that extra little bit of time out of their car, but uh, definitely uh, great job to the guys so far that uh, uh, Noah Clifton, uh, you know, Chase Harris, definitely doing a great job right now. Let's see here, looks like Chase Harris is going to call it quits there. So it will be Noah Clifton getting the bonus point towards the championship for winning the pole. And of course he will lead the field to the green flag in tomorrow's race. 11 laps here at Road America. But uh, the big question is, can he fend off Chase Harris for that uh, top position in the event? We're just going to have to see. Definitely going to be intriguing to see how tomorrow's race plays out. You know, never know when you can have an issue on the racetrack. Of course, we saw a few guys go off here, and there's another guy, I believe that's Lipscomb in the 7, who just went off. You're going to see a lot of that. You're going to see a lot of attempts for passes as well. You got Matt Tuck there trying something out on Igor Barreto. And Cannon in the corner is a good place to make a pass here at Road America. So we'll have to see if that's done a lot in tomorrow's event. Noah Clifton will lead us to the green flag for Chevy Indy, Indy Wisconsin. Chase car. Harris, Francois Chastain, Davey Johnson, Cold Speed, the top five. Take a look at the rest of the results right there. Igor Barreto, slowest driver out there. Number one, a Luke Rainey, uh, 2017 champion. Not too good either. John Andrews, 2018 winner of this event. Going to be starting in 27th, but he definitely struggled on the number 10 in this qualifying session. See if we have any ties. We have one between Max Anderson and Audra Baranowski. because not entirely sure who has the advantage in points of those two, but that is the only tie in this session. That's how the lineup for tomorrow. Chevy in Wisconsin. Noah Clifton wins the pole, but he's going to have Chase Harris, our points leader, starting alongside him in the 11-lap event here from Road America. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Over on Napa Fan. And over on Napa Fan tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, it's the Cracker Barrel 400 in the Chick fil A Cup Series. Should be an interesting one there. Uh, 60 laps of action for the first race of the chase at the Nashville Super Speedway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations to Noah Clifton. And we'll see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern for Chevy Indy, Wisconsin, here from Road America. I will see you guys later.